five seed. Like, like I said the whole time, seeds don't matter. As soon as you're in the tournament, there's eight guys that are world class there. So, seeds don't matter. Uh, everyone that I'm going to be fighting, no matter who it was, whether it was the one seed or the eight seed, he was going to be good. He was going to be tough. So, I wasn't too worried. I knew I'd have two tough fights. I had to be ready for five rounds. I was hoping, you know, get two quick finishes, bounce out of there, be healthy. But had two wars, um, had that first one. The first fight was a good fight with Howard. He's a tough guy, super tough. Uh, he was throwing some big hooks at me. Ended up getting the decision there. Second fight, Bronco, super tough guy. Uh, wanted to have even a better fight, I guess, than the one with Howard and have a nice little war and get bloody. David, what were your thoughts going into that third round like, once you got cut? Well, going into the third round before the cut, it was like, fuck. One to one, um, you know, it's one to one. It's tied up. I knew I was on my back for a while. One of the judges ended up giving him a 10-8. I was kind of thinking that might be it. I just couldn't get up. Um, I was, yeah, I just couldn't get up. You know, he was tough on top. I was trying to move a little bit. He was just—he's good. He's good at what he's good at. So going into the third, I knew I had to win. And I got that low blow, and as I was squatted over, I got hit in the head and it was bleeding. Well, time to turn it up, and ended up ended up working out. I guess whenever, like, what's the old say? No one makes me bleed my own blood. <laughs> um, so yeah, I picked it up. I saw that he was kind of starting to wilt a little bit, so I just stayed in his face, threw a lot of punches. I felt like I hit him really hard a bunch of times, and he stayed up. I was hoping he'd go down. Didn't happen, but ended up getting out of there with a the win. David, your story so far in the PFL has probably been the most intriguing from being the guy that took that quick knockout loss to Saad Abusi to fighting all the way now to the championship. Was this what you expected from the jump, or did you surprise even yourself? Well, I knew I was going to be in the finals. I didn't expect to get finished in 17 seconds. That's probably not the right mindset. But the good thing about the PFL was, is as soon as that fight was over, like five minutes after that fight's over, we're sitting in the back, you know, my ribs are still hurting, whatever. And I'm like, okay, I got a fight in two months. I got something to get back on the horse for. I need to keep working. It's not like any other promotion. You take a loss like that, you're gonna be on the shelf for six months. You're gonna be sitting there licking your wounds, getting fat. I was like, okay, I have to stay on my guy. I have to stay on my training. So I never, in my mind, I never doubted that I was gonna be in the finals, you know? I knew I was where I was. I knew going into that fight, I was the lowest, the lowest of the low. I was 12th seed going into my second fight because I had the <coughs> quickest knockout loss. But I knew go in, get a win, make it to playoffs. Like I said, in the playoffs, everyone's tough. We had eight world-class fighters here tonight, and I'm one of the last two left standing. Every time you landed something, the crowd went pretty crazy. How did that uh, translate for you into the cage? Yeah, I had, felt like I had a lot of fans here. Uh, a lot of people, you know, shooting me texts like, oh, I can't wait to watch you. I can't wait to be there. Um, but I feel like how I fight, I normally have a lot of fans because I bring the action. You know, I had two, I had two wars today. Um, not a lot of people could say that. I had two fights that are better than some fights that anyone, that a lot of guys ever have. A lot of guys don't even have one fight on their, on their resume like the two that I had. And I know how I fight, I know my heart, I know, I know what I'm about when I'm out there. So, I'm happy with it. Can't, can't complain about winning and getting paid and having a chance at a million. Now, David, you showed a tremendous amount of heart tonight in your two fights. What is it going to mean to you to go to New York City and win that final? Oh, it'll be everything, you know? Um, I, I say you know a lot, I guess. <laughs> Tonight's press conference is brought to you by you know. Um, so, but like I was saying before to someone else, they asked me what's more important, the million or the title. I didn't start fighting to be rich. I started fighting to be the best in the world. And I know, I believe that I am one of the best fighters in the world. And whenever I get this belt, everyone else is going to know it too. Anything else, guys? Yeah, what are you going to do with the money? <laughs> um, well, I got two bulldogs. Maybe I'll get a couple more. <laughs> Take care of my kids, you know? It's like the meme say, I gotta, I'm grinding to give my dogs a better life. <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. All right, thanks, Gaston.